but pretty much, yeah, we're gonna get naked now. We can play this song for as long as we want because it's not copyrighted. Nostalgia. Is the camera good enough for this? Oh, moody. We're just gonna wait for the drop because you know, nostalgia. Can I put my sunglasses on? Sunglasses on before the drop. I don't know what the point of this video is, but welcome. Oh no, time's running out. There we go. We're ready for uh, ready for nighttime. Uh, yeah. Shut up. I was gonna be an asshole there, and I was gonna turn the music up before the drop happened, but then I felt like someone had a problem last time with that, so I'm not gonna do it. Anyways, welcome to the video. It's been 55 seconds of nothing. We're here at the mecca of Scarborough, Venice Fitness. If you guys never been to Venice Fitness before, uh, I don't even know, I've never been here either. Um, but one of the favorite things to do about fit, 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 fit. Look at the camera pickering fitness. One of the best things about fitness is like trying out new gyms. So we're gonna get a lift in with the immortal one himself, Chris Harper. If you guys don't know who Chris Harper is, then you're clearly wasting your time in life and you need to find out who he is. And then we're gonna hit a infrared sauna afterwards. It's kind of like two events in the same video on the same day, not related to each other. But I wanted to like go from super intense Greek God workout to like, Zen meditation infrared sauna um, at like one of those peaceful places ever at Float Valley. This is all part of the video. I don't know why I keep talking about it, but if you guys never seen the, the Float Valley sensory deprivation tank video, I'll link it in the bio. Just kidding, it's a description and you guys can watch that video, um, but we're gonna go there after. This is starting off really badly, but you know what? Every video starts off badly, so consistency is key. Let's see if we can find Mr. Harper and then we'll head inside. One more drop. This is perfectly timed. What makes will he go to secure his nicotine addiction? I don't know, but we're filming it. High level legs, people. We lost the jewel pod and we're not giving up until we find it. Recycling, garbage, toilet, doesn't matter where it is, we're going to locate the jewel pod. All we need is pre-workout, jewels, <laughs> and the lifts. Yeah! You I don't know. know. I somehow fucking lost my pod, bro. That's okay, I don't need it. There's mirrors everywhere. Oh. Of the gods. Yeah. Oh dear, that's someone else's probably. Maybe that's yours from before. <laughs> Jewel gang or no gang, <laughs> the secret to success if we're filming it is, yeah. is all max impact pre-workout yeah. and a jewel hit. If exactly. you want to get gains, you want to get jacked, you want to get shredded, you got to hit the jewel, man. Post-workout chase. Post-workout chase too, definitely. With vodka. Yeah. Standard. This is, we're going to battle. This is, wow. this is the Roman ages. This is a serious fucking workout, people. This isn't for the amateurs. This, this is for the for lions. The this is the gym of the gods. This is where all, oh, this is where Ziz posed. It's the fountain of youth. It's it. I mean, Ziz was born here, a legend has it. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's his father. That's a picture of his father. Yeah. His mother's over there. Nice. You know, so when you come here, you got, I mean, this is next level. This is not, this is no good life. This is no fit for less. This is a serious gym. The vlogger is now the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do both. That's the problem. You need to get someone. I know.
This is legendary. Look at this. There's like the. This is this is hose down. The watering hole. Shout out Dylan Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. This is how he gets his 3D delts. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. Okay. Bang it as many as you can. Just you, bro. Dig deep for this. Go, go, go. When you think it's over, it ain't over. You can push one more. Yep. Yep, 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 I got you. Push it, Chris, push it, Chris, push it, Chris. Push it, Chris. This ain't fit for less. What? This ain't fit for less. Nah, bro. Angles. You're That's actually a sick angle. You got the angles everywhere. Got, yeah. There's. Thank you. 
the shoulders, the veins coming through. You're gonna need to eat like 100 donuts a day to get not lean, dude. Uh, All right, push it right away, right into it. Yep. 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 I'm learning, bro. Let's go, Chris. Like, oh, yep. <laughs> what up people that was a really weird like experience at the gym now that gym was like pretty much empty not only did i see some random dude from college who i already saw instagram story working out today who doesn't even live in the area but i saw this like dude named robin strand and robin strand is like an ifbb pro who I used to watch in like 2010. He's like a year older than me and he went to like the same university college as I did. But like, I never would have thought I would have seen him out of the five people who were in the gym. So like, life's weird, small world. And like, I didn't get a picture with him. I didn't get a video with him just cause like, I don't know. I feel like I experienced things instead of like documenting them. So sorry for not showing you guys, but like, I don't know. I feel like I can check that off my bucket list. like. That's cool. Anyways, en route to Float Valley. It's 8.54 p.m. Why is this such a like regular, I'm like actually calm. I feel like a regular person. Oh no, 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 I'm not really that regular. But yeah, pretty much like, what time is it? 8.54, we have a infrared sauna appointment at Float Valley at 9.45. It's like, I don't know, 20, whoa, what is this traffic? It's like 20 minutes away. We're gonna get there on time, but like I gotta do a little intro like explanation about actual like infrared saunas because I don't even know what they are. To me, infrared sauna sounds really dangerous. Like I'm probably getting cancer today or maybe it's, uh, maybe it, this is probably really illegal, but you know what? Whatever. 
Uh, what was I gonna say? I feel like infrared and ultraviolet is the same thing, so I'm probably gonna die. But anyways, before I get killed in a car accident, I'm gonna catch up soon at Float Valley, so uh, see you later. What up, folks? Uh, we have arrived at uh, Float Valley. You guys check that? There you go, Float Valley. Did like a sensory deprivation tank experience here, but like they got an infrared sauna. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna get the lowdown on the infrared sauna, because it sounds like witchcraft to me. <laughs> Let's go. Hey folks, uh, the super sweet Asian girl um, didn't want to be on camera explaining the sauna, but pretty much like infrared sauna, it's like doesn't make you feel like you're claustrophobic, doesn't make you feel like you can't breathe. This is actually such a nice room. And, and, there is literally, there's Netflix in the sauna. So I'm definitely gonna partake in some Netflix. I was gonna listen to some hard style music, uh, but then I thought like maybe I should just watch Netflix instead. So we got ourselves a shower here, here at Float Valley, my favorite place. I'm kidding, it's not my favorite place. It's my second favorite place. My first favorite place is McDonald's, um, but pretty much, yeah, we're gonna get naked now. You guys can't see. I'm actually gonna shoot a time-lapse of myself in here because we can get like a time-lapse. Um, you can watch me like sweat and die. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that now. Thoughts of the sauna afterwards. Peace, love, and tranquility. Hey folks, we just did 30 minutes. Uh, think about infrared sauna like 30 minutes you can last I've been in other saunas and like I don't like them as much in like regular traditional saunas You're in there. You're dying in the first five minutes. You're like when is this over? This is like the same effect, but gradually for 30 minutes like I feel great I don't feel like I killed myself My muscle pain is actually kind of like gone for now in terms of like post workout because that shoulder workout was intense um, And it's like always just like good to kind of sweat out some water So I feel good infrared sauna you can watch Netflix in there I actually recommend you guys try this if you're into like saunas and and you're into like getting the effects without hating your life so much. Infrared saunas. I'm at Float Valley Boys in Markham if you're in the GTA. What else can I say about saunas? Yeah, no complaints here. Muscle pain's pretty good. I feel great. I don't know. Hey folks, just got changed. I found uh, the infrared sauna benefit sheet. Detoxification, okay? Uh, sunlight and seven times greater than conventional sauna. Okay, interesting. Pain relief, I definitely felt that in terms of the like muscle fatigue. Weight loss, I don't need that. Lowers blood pressure, ooh. I do need that, guys. If that's something you're into, definitely. Improve circulation, for sure. For sure it does, because of the, like, you know, increased blood flow, because of body temperature. And then skin purification. I can see how that, uh, can see how that can work. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I'm gonna show you, like, a little thing here. Focus on this, please. If you wanna, like, take a screenshot of that, check out some of the benefits right there. Comparison between the regular one, and go ahead. All right, guys, 10 out of 10, would recommend. If this was one of my reviews, Nine out of 10, approved. Cause if it was like, it would get a 10 if I like, if it was a bit hotter actually. If it was a bit hotter, 10 out of 10. It wasn't like, I wasn't sweating as much as I wanted to. Like I wanna die. I wanna be like in the desert. Catch up soon. Focus on my face, please. Focus on my face, please. What are you doing? Come on. Are you broken tonight? I don't know what you're doing. What up, folks? I feel like we keep going like back and forth between things that are good for me and things that are bad for me. Cause that like workout was super intense and we went to like do a nice sauna. And now I feel like I was gonna eat Chipotle today. I had planned on it, but Chipotle is closed. And the thing about Canada and why I go to McDonald's all the time is because McDonald's is always open. There's not a lot of like fast food places that are open 24 seven and like are predictable. But I'm probably just gonna end up at, 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 at McDonald's. Uh, because I have had like a thousand calories maximum today and uh, yeah, I need to eat some more food So we're probably gonna end up at McDonald's then we're just gonna eat some Ben and Jerry's But I feel like going from a nice infrared sauna to eating disgusting McDonald's is like a step in the wrong direction But when every step is a step in the wrong direction, it's always the right direction. Does that make sense? I don't know, but anyways I feel great, but I'm hungry. Let's go eat. It's 10 25 p.m. Chat soon. What up, folks? Uh, it's 10.32 p.m. Focus on my face. Oh, this is peasant tea tonight. Yeah, it's 10.32 p.m. I was just, like, driving, and I'm actually... I'm not the kind of person to fall asleep, because I'm usually, like, so wired all the time that I, I, I don't nap, and I don't fall asleep easily. But, like, I'm pretty relaxed, and I'm pretty, like... A sleep worthy. A sleep worthy? Yeah, it's a new word. A sleep worthy. It means I'm willing to fall asleep now. And I don't know if it was the workout at the gym that was really intense, or if it was the lack of food, or if it was the sauna, but I'm more relaxed than usual. So if that's a little bit more of an idea, I mean, if that's a little bit more of a 
what am I trying to say? I can't even think straight. If that's more of like a benefit of the sauna, then yeah, I feel quite relaxed and could probably fall asleep right now. But we haven't had McDonald's yet, so there's a McDonald's right there. But we ain't going to that one because because we're going to the typical McDonald's with the homeless people, with the crackhead mom, with the kids that talk to the homeless people, and with just all the other characters that are usually gonna mess my order up. But you know what? That's what I love. Every time you order a menu, every time you order a menu, every time you order off the menu, it's like, surprise, are you getting what you want or are you getting something else? That's the fun of it. Peace, love, tranquility, guys. I'm gonna get there. See you soon. Welcome back, boys. Oh, wow. We almost made a mess. Almost made a mess. Whoa. All right, what up, folks? We were so hungry on the way home, we ate all our fries. I'm gonna eat this McDonald's. I don't know what else is in, in store for the video. At this point in the video, I don't know how long it is. Is it 10 minutes? Is it 15 minutes? Is it seven minutes? It's probably like, I don't know, 13 minutes already. I could be completely wrong. Oh, you're so wrong. You had no idea that in the future, Pickering Fitness would tell you that's actually been 21 minutes and 40 seconds. I bet you didn't think your video was gonna be that long, Pickering Fitness. What is it, just a workout and going to the sauna? Yeah. <laughs> nice try. I'm gonna eat this food up. That's all for tonight. Tomorrow, who knows what'll happen. Maybe I'll just end the video. Maybe I'll do some more activities. You never know on Pickering Fitness. Bye guys. Everyone's saying how Cherry Garcia isn't that great. I should get cookie dough. Nah, this is lit. I don't know if I'm, I'm not, I can't even talk. I don't know if I'm a cookie dough kind of guy, but Cherry Garcia, delicious. All right, that's all for tonight. For, for real, maybe, I don't know. Welcome back folks. This is the end of the video. I had like zero motivation today. I did an intense leg day, intense ab day. Then I didn't want to film the video. I mean, I didn't want to finish the video. I didn't want to edit the video, all this stuff about videos, but it's over now. Have a good day. Nice eyes pickering fitness. Did you steal them from the eye store? I did. Um, but anyways, because I don't have any other video ideas, like planned video ideas, please leave me a comment. I know you won't, but please do with like video ideas or things, topics you want me to cover, fitness topics, life topics, anything other than how to do a backflip because that video is not coming ever. Um, but as for right now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Nothing else to say. Nothing else to do. All I have to do is end the video. That doesn't even rhyme. Good job, Pickering Venice. Way to ruin the hell. Uh, uh, <sighs> Peace, love, and tranquility. Yeah.